Social media has placed the access of information at the fingertips of everyone who can use a computer or a personal handheld device such as a mobile phone. Sharing of information is thus very easy in this modern age. At the Civil Service Training College, the source of such information was the topic of discussion among public servants, civil servants, staff of the college, and the Deputy Inspector General of Police. Dr. Victor Masakwe, who provided a theoretical and policy perspective on the management of multiple communications, said the civil service must define and assign relevance to information before passing it on to the general public. With regards to leakages of documents, Dr. Masakwe attributed the motivations to factors outside the scope of governance, including political motivations, personal motivations, or simple ignorance. Civil servants, he said, must question the source and content of information and provide a discussion on ways to prevent or manage leaked information. The government can act as recommended below. Now, we have four recommendations that have been, that we open up for discussion later on. Number one, conduct massive nationwide engagement on information sharing laws and policies and the consequences of sin is violated. Number two, develop and popularize stringent communication and information sharing policies. Number three, identify and recruit in-office whistleblowers. Create, like I said earlier, awareness, training, and then um, execute super procedures, and then train people with technology that will help. Providing the law enforcement perspective on the leakage of official government documents, Deputy Inspector General of Police Dr. Alshek Kamara said the Cyber Crimes Unit is now capable of tracing slanderous, misleading, pornographic, and other offensive material released especially to social media. The rights of access to information as enshrined by the law only protects whistleblowers who have obtained their information through a due process. He said the codes of the civil service clearly define the obligations of government workers to respect government documents and not to jeopardize the peace or state security without cross-checking. Mr. Mohamed Taylor, Registrar of the Civil Service Training College, urged civil servants to read the Civil Service Code, formerly known as the General Orders, where the classification of documents is clearly spelled out. The final admonition was given by Dr. Sanfa Pius Kagbo, the training coordinator of the Civil Service Training College, who urged everyone to check their phones constructively. The Civil Service Training College, located at State Avenue, is in a primary position to make the issue of government information leakage alarmingly clear for civil servants appointed by the Public Service Commission and all public servants of the Human Resource Management Office as the accredited institution of instruction for government workers.